Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. Today we're going to be going over the basics and layout of Editor X. Let's jump right in. So as you can see here, when you open up a basic blank template, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a master header, a section, and a master footer. Also, on the top bar, you're going to see the add elements. This is where you're going to add the text, the menus, the photos, anything that you would add on the classic editor. This is basically where it is. They also have a quick ads section, so you can do quick titles, paragraphs, buttons, and stuff like that. So you don't have to sift through all of these and try to find it. They also made it to where you can right click, go down to add and add a quick title if you wanted to. To the right of the add icon is the layers. So you can kind of see like the page and you'll be able to edit the master header, the master footer, and the section. So basically what the masters is, if, is if we click over to the masters icon to the right of the pay layers icon, you'll see the master header and master footer. When you edit these, these are gonna show up on every single page, but you can also edit which pages they go on. To the right of the masters icon is the pages icon. Here you can add the pages. So you can add like an about page and maybe like a contact page. But in the classic editor here, you can make this a sub page. You can no longer do that in this section. I'll get to that later. You can now have different menu items within the header, the footer, and or anywhere else on your page. To do this, click the pages icon on the top bar and then add all the pages you're gonna want for the site. If you do forget a couple, it's okay. You'll be able to add some later. Next, add two or more navigation elements to your page. Click on one of those menus and press Manage Menu. At the top, there will be a drop-down that says Available Menus. Click that drop-down and select Add and Edit Menus. Here, you'll be able to create a new menu. Once you select the menu that you just created, go ahead and add all the pages to it that you're going to need for that menu. To the right of the Pages icon is the App Marketplace. It's basically the same exact thing as the classic editor. Depending on your needs, you'll probably be able to find it here. Over here is the page selection, like the quick page selection. So you can just go back to home, you can go to about, you can go to contact. To the right of that, you have your breakpoints. On the classic editor, all you had was desktop and mobile. But now you have desktop, tablet, and mobile. And now you can actually also add custom breakpoints, which is really cool. All the way to the right side is the undo and redo button. Also the inspector is over here, which is basically the toolbar in the classic editor. So if I was to select this, here is where you can like control, center everything, you can control the height and width of everything and stuff like that. And of course at the top right is your save, preview, and publish buttons. One really cool feature is that when we go ahead and add like a title, it's going to show up on tablet view and mobile view. However, on mobile view, when we go ahead and add a button, we bring it in here. When we go to tablet view and desktop view, it's not there. So you have to add stuff on your desktop view for it to show up on the other smaller breakpoints. On the classic editor, if I wanted to add something to mobile, I basically have to add it to the desktop version and hide it behind another element on the page. Now I can actually just add stuff straight to mobile and not have to worry about it affecting the other breakpoints. So this is a feature I've actually really been wanting for a while. Now that I've shown you around the top bar, I can kind of show you kind of this artboard. So on the left and right side, you're going to see these little handles and you can drag to resize. So it can kind of show you the breakpoint. So you can control which breakpoint you're at with this, but you can also customize what you're viewing. Another cool feature is you can add sections straight from straight from the artboard. There are some features that have changed from the classic era to the new editor. For example, when you click a section, there is no longer a change background image option here. Now you have to go to add. Go to media and you can either grab a full length image and it'll automatically do it and you can just change the image or you can go to the add icon grab another image 
and press the stretch icon right there. If you were interested in adding the parallax feature, just go ahead and press the settings icon. Go to scroll behavior and parallax and reveal are gonna be right there. Also, they added a focal point feature into Editor X. So now you can show which part of the feature is actually visible in the section. They've also added sticky position for certain elements on the site. So when you select an element like this text, come over to the inspector, go over to scroll, and do scroll effect through sticky position. And like, let's do like 200 um, pixel offset. Okay. And then let's go ahead and preview what that's going to look like. So when you first start scrolling, nothing seems out of the normal, but then as it keeps scrolling down, that services is going to stick and it's going to stay there until the end of that strip or section, which that is a really cool feature that I wish they had in Wix classic editor for a long time. There are ways around it, but I really am happy to see that here in editor X. They've also now added grids. So now you can apply a grid and you can kind of choose or make a custom grid. For now, we'll just go ahead and do a one by two. So you can kind of see it splits it in half here. So now when I go ahead and add an image and press stretch, it's only going to fill that half of the grid. Press edit grid and you can custom control the sizing or you can even add another column or you can delete it. With this grid option, you can do a lot of cool features like this layout tool. So here you can kind of see how this is built and it's built using the grid. So you can press edit grid and you can see that this is actually just a grid built in to it. And each one of these has its own grid applied to it. This is one of those features that it, when you learn it, it's going to make your life so much easier because you'll be able to do some really cool stuff really easily. That's basically all of the basics of Editor X. If you have any questions about Editor X, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer you or even make a video on the topic as soon as I can. Also, make sure you subscribe to get your Wix fix and follow along with more Editor X tutorials coming soon. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.